Moon Knight is a big budget series, so of course the cast has some big names, and they like to spend big bucks. We're diving into exactly how much the Moon Knight stars spend their millions. Oscar Isaac's net worth is $15 million. Having worked on film and television for more than a decade, Isaac's net worth is only bound to increase after the success of Moon Knight. He's making $10 million in salary for the series on Disney+. Plus. It may not surprise you to find out that he is quite humble in terms of spending when it comes to the richest standards, but we love the series, and there are some indulgent expenses in everyone's closet. So sure, Oscar Isaac may be a millionaire actor, but his lifestyle is very simple. He won't move to Los Angeles and buy a huge mansion, he isn't fond of expensive cars, and he likes to keep his private life, well, private. He doesn't even appear to have many friends. Jessica Chastain is one of his closest friends, and they often have dinner together, and in Venice, well, it fully looked like they were a couple completely in love, but we'll stay out of that drama for now. According to reports, he owns a $650,000 apartment in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, which he is now renovating. He enjoys the small apartment and the nearby restaurants, where he comes from time to time to eat. Pete's Candy Store is another place where fans can see the famous actor having a glass of red wine or a beer. When Oscar goes on vacation, he goes home to Guatemala. He may not own the newest, coolest car, but the Polster 2 seems to have sparked his interest. He shares the same passion for the environment as his sister, the famous climate scientist Nicole Hernandez Hammer. He was the narrator of Time to Choose, and he marched in the streets of New York for the Climate Justice Youth Summit in 2019. The Polestar 2 is an electric sedan that could give Tesla Model 3 a good run for its money as it represents a big shift for the Swedish brand owned by Volvo Cars. In a celebration of that shift, Polestar has partnered with the Wall Street Journal for a mini docuseries that explores the brand's environmentally friendly innovations and guess who's the host, Oscar. I'm sure he's gonna get one of those beautiful eco-friendly beauties as part of the deal. Unfortunately, there is no other information about the cars that he has, but here's a picture of him with a cat on the subway. Though he might be Moon Knight, he still loves to go back to his Star Wars roots. Walt Disney World Resort officially launched Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser recently, and to celebrate, we have a video to share from a galaxy far, far away. Oscar got to tour the Star Cruiser with Disney Imagineer Scott Trowbridge and tried out some of the exciting activities on board. Watch his reaction to seeing the first of its kind immersive experience. This two night adventure filled voyage is apparently unlike anything Disney has ever created. Oscar is married to Elvira Lind and the pair also became business partners near the end of 2020, when they established a production company together called Mad Gene Media. They have podcasts, shorts, docs, fiction, and graphic novels in the making. Here they are in New York before the birth of their second son, Mads. The actor and the documentary filmmaker tied the knot in March 2017, just before welcoming their first son, Eugene. Oscar Isaac is also convinced his wife is the Queen of Christmas because of her Danish roots that make the holidays extra special. He loves being with her and her family over the holidays. It feels like you're in the North Pole, he told Ellen on her show. Traditions include dancing around the tree and lots of warm wines. The sky appears to be the limit for the Guatemalan American as he is being lined up for some more major roles in upcoming blockbusters and he already made a fair share of money on other projects. He made $256,410 for Tiki Taki, $285,714 for Gravity, $416,667 for Show Me a Hero, just over $312,000 for Star Wars, and now he's hitting pay dirt, raking in $10 million in salary for Moon Knight. Ethan Hawke is a four-time Oscar nominee who makes $2.5 million from Moon Knight and has nearly 90 acting credits under his belt. 
Hawk has achieved so much success as an actor, not to mention his writing and directing work, it's no wonder he has a net worth of $55 million. And fortunately for us, he knows how to spend it. Oscar Isaac's co-actor has been around much longer and has more on his resume in terms of spending. Oscar was kinda boring. Hawk landed his breakthrough role in Dead Poet Society in 1989 while still in college, but he never finished his degree. In the years since, he's starred in a number of notable films, including Reality Bites, Before Sunrise, and sequels Before Sunset and Before Midnight. But his biggest role was Training Day in 2001. Hawk earned his first Oscar nomination for his part in Training Day. He also received a Golden Globe nomination for Boyhood. Most recently, Hawk created and wrote and starred in The Good Lord Bird, which earned him his second Golden Globe nomination. Hawk has a history of choosing jobs that don't have a high salary. According to The Hollywood Reporter, he worked for next to nothing when he starred in 2013's The Purge. Luckily, he's made up for his low initial pay with a deal that ended up being worth $2 million as the movie did quite well. Hawk owned a townhouse in Chelsea in New York City. It was located on 247 Dean Street. This 4,026 square foot house consists of two family buildings with a triplex and a garden level rental. The building's original details were carefully restored, including ornate crown moldings and medallions, five working fireplaces with marble mantles, wide plank floors, stained glass pocket doors, handcrafted landmarked approved windows, and beautiful original woodwork. A full wit steel deck overlooks a sunny garden with a blue stone patio on the parlor floor. Thanks to the low fence, the yard feels double the size. A sense of being in the countryside is created by the surrounding open, well-kept and lush yard. He listed the property for $6.25 million in 2013 after renovating the plumbing, heating and electrical systems and restoring the original 19th century details. It's likely he made a nice profit on the sale since he bought the house for only $3 million. The house sits on a tree-lined street and is extremely colorful on the inside. The parlor is connected to the open kitchen and has a wood-burning fireplace. With its bright blue walls, the master suite occupies the fourth floor of the townhouse. The home has four and a half bathrooms. And just look at this gorgeous bathtub. Additionally, there is a fireplace in the children's room, as well as wood floors and plenty of room for books. The couch in this media room looks comfortable enough to crash on. Hawk has owned some incredible properties and has had some memorable relationships too. This historical home in Snedden's Landing, New York was previously owned by Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman and it's worth $3.3 million. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms and a partial bathroom. It's known locally as the Ding Dong House. The home was originally built in 1750 and is a Flemish farmhouse colonial built before the Revolutionary War. It was expanded in the 1860s and has an incredible view of the Hudson River. Lots of windows and wooden floors are found in the living room, as well as a chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Outside the living space you can see the stairway. In one of the rooms within the Ding Dong House, you can find a fireplace and wooden floor. It seems Ethan isn't afraid of color. The staircase in the house has leopard print carpeting and details on the side. With its wooden beams overhead, the kitchen offers plenty of space to store dishes and cooking supplies. You can imagine the couple enjoying these sweeping views from the large porch, overlooking the garden with stone patios, the pool, entertainment area, and the river in front of the private lawn. When it comes to getting around, well, Hawk is pretty modest. And speaking of modest, he apparently learned to drive in a 1982 Toyota Corolla station wagon. Today, he's a family man and a dad of four kids, so he needs something durable and family friendly. So he's stuck with the same Chevy Suburban he's had for years. For him, it fits everybody. And that's important when driving a family of four and a dog on a road trip. Obviously, the Chevy Suburban is nothing like the silver 2008 Shelby GT500 Super Snake with the supercharged 5.4-liter Ford SVT V8 
725 horsepower engine he drove in the movie Getaway. I guess that's movie magic. With a resume like Ethan Hawke, you know he's a hard worker. Even on vacation in Cape Town, South Africa, Hawke still gets a workout session in with his personal trainer. Nice that the Atlantic Ocean is right there to cool off in. Loic Mabanza is a French dancer, choreographer, actor, filmmaker, and model. In Moon Knight, he plays the Bushman and takes in a salary of $300,000 for the role. He's a great actor and loves spending his money on jewelry and other fashion accessories. His true passion, though, is dancing. He has performed for music artists such as Chris Brown, Usher, Mariah Carey, Kendrick Lamar, Jennifer Hudson, and was the star in Jay-Z's music video, Many Face God. Dancing is his passion and he has been rewarded for it. Nine years ago, he was dancing in an international competition when he was introduced to Madonna. This was at an after party in a London club. She asked him to join her performances there and soon enough, he was part of her 2012 MDNA tour. After the Rebel Heart Tour in 2015, he accompanied Madonna on her chariot trips to Malawi in support of her nonprofit organization. Even though Jeremy Slater isn't part of the cast, he is the head writer and executive producer for the Disney Plus miniseries Moon Knight, and he has a whopping net worth of five to $10 million, so we'll give him a pass. Not too surprising, as he is responsible for films such as Fantastic Four and Death Note, and on the television series The Umbrella Academy and The Exorcist. The writer-producer just paid $2.15 million for this house in the Hollywood Hills. There is plenty of green space on the grounds of this Mediterranean-style residence. The two-story interior features terracotta tile floors, arched doorways, and a wet bar in the living room. One of the four bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms includes a sitting room, sauna, and fireplace. French doors lead to a terrace balcony. Both floors are connected by an elevator, combining for a total of 4,622 square feet. Slater is all about making deals, and he bought the home for $45,000 less than the asking price. Nice job! Jeremy Slater is married to Melissa Russell. The two TV and movie nerds actually found love at Comic-Con. And a few years later, he whisked her off to St. Lucia and beneath the shadow of the Pitol Mountains, he proposed. It was a beautiful moment, but check out the beauty of this luxury resort, the Jade Mountain Resort. For a whopping $4,000 a night, you have to expect this is an awesome place to celebrate an engagement. Located on St. Lucia's southwestern Caribbean coastline, Jade Mountain Resort rises majestically above the 600-acre beachfront resort at Anse Chastanet. This organic resort celebrates the island's stunning natural beauty. The resort has expanded upon its philosophy of building harmoniously with the Caribbean nature in the creation of Jade Mountain St. Lucia. With its bold architectural design, individual bridges leading to extraordinary infinity pools and stone-faced columns reach toward the sky. Jade Mountain St. Lucia is one of the Caribbean's most mesmerizing resorts. It has grand sweeping spaces where bedroom, living area and an extravagant private infinity pool glide into one another to form extraordinary platforms floating into nature. With the fourth wall entirely absent, Jade Mountain sanctuaries are stage-like settings from which to embrace the full glory of St. Lucia's Pitons World's Heritage Site and, of course, the eternal Caribbean Sea. Wrapped around an infinity pool with a dazzling kaleidoscope of colors, the Jade Mountain Club celebrates James Beard award-winning Chef Alan Seusser's Jade Cuisine. The space above the Jade Mountain Club is the Celestial Terrace, perfect for sunset cocktails or just stargazing. A wide range of spa services can be enjoyed in the privacy of the Jade Mountain Sanctuaries or the Kai en Ciel. That's the Jade Mountain's boutique spa and fitness studio. The resort major domos and a dedicated resort team ensure outstanding service around the clock. 
It's extremely exclusive, so you'll enjoy the privacy of Jade Mountain with all of Sister Resort, Anz Chastanet's restaurants, bars, boutiques, art galleries, spas, scuba activities, bike and water sports facilities as well as two soft sand beaches available and easily accessible to Jade Mountain. From there, the couple could celebrate their engagement on the open water. For 85,000 euros, you can charter a yacht from Windward Islands Yacht Charter and make your way between Granada's long, enchanting beaches and the stunning, jagged peaks of St. Lucia's Pitons. Dance the night away in Mystique's glittering beach bars or drop anchor off the peaceful paradise of Bakia. As the southern island group of the Lesser Antilles, the Windward Islands have been somewhat of an insider secret for a Caribbean luxury yacht charter. From Dominica in the north to Trinidad and Tobago in the south, these mostly volcanic islands offer a ton of activities and entertainment. Colonial ships arrive from the east here, so you'll find ancient plantations and rum distilleries, as well as mangroves and untamed forests to explore. I'm sure the couple had a blast. As his wife Melissa is also a lover of movies and theme parks, they were pumped to book the Universal Studios backlot as their wedding venue. Costing them around $150,000, it was worth every penny for the movie buffs. Jeremy and Melissa both love Back to the Future and Jaws, which were filmed there. In the aftermath of the ceremony, guests enjoyed a drink and hopped on a tram to tour Universal Studios. How would you feel if your entire tram was full of your friends after a few drinks? What a blast! A 1950s inspired set, decorated with grey, blue and champagne gold, was transformed while guests were on the tram by the wedding planner. Melissa made personalized escort cards as one of her favorite DIY projects. She surveyed as many guests as possible and checked out their Facebook pages to find out what their favorite movie was. Following that, she collected VHS versions of their favorite films from thrift stores and spray painted them champagne gold and had custom labels made to match their invitations. Instead of using table numbers, the couple named each table after their favorite movies. Back to the Future, Jaws, Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and When Harry Met Sally. Guests were then treated to another surprise. They rented an actual DeLorean time machine. The car did a loop around the square with all the machine's lights flashing at 10.05 p.m. The exact time, lightning struck the clock tower and sent Marty back in time, capping off a lavishly fun night. Live-action Disney Plus Marvel shows are reportedly expected to have budgets similar to Marvel films, meaning they could be as high as $150 million. So with the success of Moon Knight, the cast should only be making more and more cold hard cash in the future. It's good to be a superhero.